Aries. Keep it there, please. What is going on, my dears? It is Mira, it is Shiva, it is Vera, it is Scorpio and Red Tarot, and I am back at it again one time for the one time with a whole new look, a whole new layout, okay? All right, for the 2021, baby, we here to have some fun. How y'all doing? Happy New Year to y'all. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Baby, because I missed you. I'm all up in here, boo. So listen, shout out to all my OG. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of you guys who have clicked, like, shared, and subscribed to this video. If there's anyone that would like to show some love and support to the page, or if you would like to book a personal and private reading, check out the information in the description box of this video. Or you can skibby on over to that uh, bio section on my YouTube page. It gives you the pricing list, the way to contact with me. I do all my videos. Video readings on Instagram Messenger. If you don't have Instagram Messenger, we can surely do it on um, Google Hangouts. But the only thing we need to exchange is email. So you guys go ahead and reach out to me, all right? And let me know what you want to do, all right? I'm all here for you, boo. So, Aries, let's get into this. You already know we want to say a quick prayer over the energy before we get into and through, you know, this reading. So let's bow our heads and let's give God, you know, gracious thanks so father god thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of aries thank you so much for allowing us to have a positive outlook going into this new year father god it don't matter what type of chaos is going on in the world aries gonna keep their stuff together okay all right touch not god's anointed so can't nobody touch us father god can't nobody touch us you know because you said you know go forth and be fruitful and you know collect and gather as you will and stay on chill because you know god got it god got it and he got you and he got everything in divine order in the right place so father god continue to put your hands on us continue to lay hands father god thank you jesus because we about to turn it up and turn it out this year father god give us the, uh, the guidance that we need for the sign of aries please give us all of the blessings and the and, and the lessons and whatever it is that we need to receive to believe our path and our purpose in this world and in this life father god continue to give us guidance continue to help us to stay focused in jesus name a Man, all right. I don't know why I just want to blurt out. Thank you for being a friend. Doom, 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 doom. Travel down the road and back again. Uh, uh. Your heart is true. Uh, your a pile and a cup that are. Thank you for being a friend. Doom, 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 doom. Who y'all friend? <laughs> Can I be your friend? Can I be your friend? Is it was that song for me? Oh, okay, listen. Let me mind my business. Let me mind my business. So, y'all, let's get on into this energy, y'all. I have new decks that just came in. So we got the Edgar Allan Poe deck. And then we also got the playing cards. And then I'm gonna take it on back a few stacks. I'm gonna take it on back. We got the Mystic Moon Oracle deck for love. And then we also have her. Uh, tarot deck that we're going to get into so let's see what we got going on okay let's see what we got going on. I'm going to do like three cards for the general energy alright please give me guys for the final area for January 2021 thank you doing general energy right now oh I feel that okay I feel it okay give me three cards for Aries thank you so much What is this? The two of pentacles in the reverse. All right. Looks like you about to let somebody down. You about to let somebody go. Looks like you need to free up your options. You need to have like singular focus on something, Aries. You look like you can't serve everybody. That shit don't make sense. That shit is. <laughs> you feel like you know. I can't spread everything around like that, baby. I need to have some singular focus here. And who the hell is this sitting back looking? It's like. Well, I feel like someone, and then you got the, huh, yes, God, I said, didn't I tell you? Then you got the tower, and then you got the ace of cups. So listen, it's about to be some bad news for somebody, and some perfectly good news for somebody else. You guys, you guys are just too tired of, like, spreading yourself too thin. You're trying to put some energy over here, you're trying to put some energy over there. This could be, this guy has something to do with work as well. 
You feel like you're spreading yourself too thin. There's not enough time. There's not enough placement for all of the things that you want to do right now in your life. So something has to be put down. Something has to be sacrificed right now. You know, because one hand has to wash the other. The other, the, the other hand can't wash the other hand if, we, if I don't have a free hand. You don't have a free hand right now. So one hand can't wash the other if you don't have a free hand. Do you understand? I need a free hand. All right? So... The tower with the ace of cups here is just basically telling me that it's something that's being presented to you right now that is completely filling and thrilling to your heart. Um, you may be completely in love all over again. You may have forgot what it felt like to like truly be in love and Ooh, they said being hypnotized by someone. Okay, baby, I'm reloaded. It's like this is something that is like a shocking re revelation to you. It's, I don't, I don't feel like um, you thought that you could ever love this type of way. Something is most definitely being sacrificed because one hand has to wash the other. I need a free hand so I can seriously cleanse it, 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 it's like you're refreshing you're cleansing your palate you see how you've been split in two here you have to make a decision and you already know the decision that you're going to make because you're in love with something somebody something an idea you know a thought a creation it's something that it split you in two you see that moon peeking up in the back? Look, I'm an orange moon reflecting the light of the sun. So that orange moon that finally came through, you guys. Child, listen, I really do feel like this has something to do with love, with romance, with relationship, with partnerships. It definitely has to do with partnerships and your foundation. So you finally setting yourself apart from all of this shit that you need to do, you have a singular focus on one true love. One true love. I feel like it's something that you've been fantasizing about. It's something that you've been wishing for. I don't think you've ever experienced love like this. So let's see what's going on. It's something that takes you by shock. And I'm serious. It's like you feel ripped apart. It's like I have to... Make a decision. And do you see how this man is sitting in the back just watching, you know, this waiter trying to balance both of these trays? And, and it's like it's almost as if he's watching him trying to see if he will fall. Like you don't think that he'll be able to keep his balance or whatever. No, I can't keep my balance as long as I have singular focus and I'm not trying to be all over the place. Two places at one time. I can't do that. And I'm not going to try to do that no more. I'm not going to try to do that no more. Bottom line. So it's going to take somebody by shop. It's going to take. It's going to be somebody's dismay. Somebody is not going to be happy about this. But one hand has to wash the other. All right. So let's see. Give me two cards to clarify this situation. And again, this could definitely have something to do with finance and business as well. You may be dropping one thing that you were doing that you thought was like a fruitful opportunity for. Uh, this is the tower. This is the tower again. This is the seven of space. This is the tower again. This is something that hits you by shock. It's like. Oh, what are they saying? It's okay. This is the seven of spades and then the five of diamonds. So again, like this could be something where um, you could have been at war with yourself inside. Um, the five of diamonds to me, I believe it means like karma. What goes up must comes down. Like, you know, um, learning things by force almost like possibly not making the right decision in the past and it you know affected your future so whatever you did in the past it's paying its dividends right now so i don't know if this is you being taken by shock because i don't know what this here is trying to tell me like either somebody's about to hurt you or you're about to hurt somebody else by this decision by this upheaval do you understand it's like you've been uh 
pulled out of a state of comfort uh, whatever it was that you were used to doing whatever it was that you were used to doing that was kind of keeping your life off balance it's like you need you desire balance now and it's may be a shocking revelation to somebody you like you really about to separate from me like we've been doing this shit for years like it ain't never been no problem up until now yeah it ain't been no problem up until now because like I realize that I don't really love you that I love somebody look, look I'm in love with another man who come on Jasmine Sullivan Jasmine Sullivan said listen and I'm so sorry hey, hey. look I'm in love with another man <laughs> and I know it ain't right <laughs> Look, you should go on and find someone else. Someone that can treat you right. Give you the world. Oh, my goodness. This says no pictorial sculpture. Oh, it, oh, why, why am I even trying to read this? Because the way Edgar Allan Poe writes, it's, it's such riddles. It always takes me a second to figure out what the hell he trying to say. Let me try to read this. It says no pictorial or sculptural combinations of points of human loveliness do more than approach the living and breathing human beauty as it gladdens our daily path. Oh. I still don't understand what the fuck he mean. Look, if y'all understand what the hell he mean, y'all tell me. I ain't even gonna try to figure out this damn man. Like, I'm serious. Every time that I abuse these cards, it's like I really have to sit down for a few minutes and figure out exactly what he is trying to say. Let me just clarify real quick the um, seven of spades just to make sure I got everything together in regards to... Because I believe the seven of spades is like... Yeah, it's like the, okay, the seven of spades is traditionally a card of bad luck and loss, unexpected trouble, mishap, unhappy surprises. I told you it was a fucking tower. Serious setbacks, a reverse of plans, frustration, lack of progress, a stalemate, stagnation, addictions, drugs, medicine, alcohol, codependent relationship, a cocktail, a nightclub, a bar, or a saloon. Remember, I was saying this was something like, this could have been like a, a side business, a side hustle. It could have been like to me, this could even be someone living their life in a way where they were making lucrative advances by doing things that might not have been right. You know what I'm saying? Like I got a 95 job, but I also got a side hustle. Where I might sell drugs or I may, you know, prostitution. Or I don't know why I'm saying prostitution, but I'm sorry. But like the two of pinnacles. The two of pentacles. So this could have been something that is paying out dividends now, but you may pay in karma later. Do you understand? So laugh now, cry later type of thing like that. It's either an affair. It's either some type of work that you really don't want to do, but you have to do it to make ends meet because you may be financially struggling right now. It's something. It's something, but whatever it is, it's having to be let go. Is having to be set aside. You can't do that no more. And it may come to you as a surprise or to whoever the person was that was benefiting off of these life choices that you were making. Whoever this was that was benefiting off of these life choices is going to come shock to them because you're changing. They're going to be at a complete loss because you are separating yourself from this shit. You can't do this shit no more. Like I finally found something or it found me. And it may, it may have came to me in my time of darkness, but it found me. And I'm not about to let it go, and I'm not about to fuck it up. So, I'm so sorry, but what goes up must come down. And whatever we was doing is coming down right now. London Bridge has fallen. All right? And when that bitch finally hit the goddamn ground, I'm not about to be standing up under that shit worried about you. So, I'm the fuck sorry about it. Okay? I got to use my brain. I got to make wise decisions. Do you understand? This is about changes. This is about conflict that... It's about conflict that changes you for the better. That's honestly what I'm getting. It's like, you know what you're doing now. You know your worth. You're not about to fuck it up. Listen, I told you the five of diamonds represent karma patterns, cause and effect, magnetic attraction, law of attraction, thoughts that create experiences, charisma, animal magnetism, sexuality, personal space, okay? 
local area, home environment, furniture, large personal possession or property, speech, the act of speech of speaking, an argument, a legal judgment, or a court case or city life. Y'all heard me, right? So it's like a judgment coming because there's a karmic pattern that needed to stop because they're finally in a place where they're getting something that they truly love and they truly desire. Now, I'm not about to fuck this shit up. Okay. I'm in love with, uh, with somebody else. Like this shit that we was doing, you already knew this shit was some bullshit from the beginning. So, you know, I'm not about to continue to operate in this low level type of standing and then wonder why ain't nothing really coming to me. No, I finally have something that. Look, and if you pay attention, do you see the tower, you see the moon, and then you see the sun on the Ace of Cups? Hello? Didn't I say the orange moon reflecting the light of the sun? This has something to do with a partnership. Most definitely. Most definitely. It's like on some soulmate level. This is what God has sent to you. So whatever it was that what you were doing, you can't do that no more. You cannot do that no more. You will come at it will come at a price that I don't think that you want to pay. Because who knows when this type of love and this type of fulfillment will come around again. All right. So what is this? You got the two, two, two partnerships and balance. Pay attention to the new people entering your life and take time to balance your energy with existing ones. What is this all about? Balance. Pay attention to the new people entering your life and take time to balance your energy with existing ones so you're you are paying attention to the new people that's why you're getting rid of the old ones singular focus all right so i might have to tell you something that you don't like to hear right now but you know we can't keep doing this you know for a matter of fact once i really fell in love but once something came my way that really suited me that this shit that we doing wasn't about the rock you already knew that you know what i'm saying so don't go act all surprised and like you, oh, okay, so let's see what we got going on here, Aries. Okay, you got the orbs of life, spiritual realm. Didn't I tell you this is something that God sent to you? This ain't no mishap. This ain't happened by mistake. God came to tear this shit down for a reason because God wants you to do better. God wants you to do better and God really wants you to have a healthy love and balanced relationship in your life you deserve it Aries you deserve it stop letting negative shit cling to you stop letting it cling to you it was a karmic situation you know what I'm saying laugh now cry later ain't no more crying later I'm tired of being a victim of bad decision making you know I know what we're doing ain't right. I ain't about to keep carrying on with this shit. You got the red in the reverse. So there may be a loss of passion. There may be a loss of desire. Do you understand? Red represents like anger and conflict to me. So it's like I don't want to argue with you no more. And you could have like. You could have destroyed this relationship. Or just the whole breakdown of this shit could have happened around Christmas time. Because you do see the Christmas little balls that go on the tree and stuff like this this says red represents passion anger courage and strength and strength is written in the white down here you can barely see it but it does say strength and again this is showing strength to let something go you don't want to do this no more what's this last one violet intuition spiritual self-aware okay all right now they singing purple rain to me <laughs> purple rain <laughs> Purple rain. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. Purple rain. Purple rain. Okay. <laughs> I'm such a fucking retard, y'all. Okay, let's clarify this and let's get the hell up out of here, you guys. And please bear with me because I'm trying to make the readings a little shorter. Because listen, I, I started doing um who did I start with this month? I want to say I started out with Capricorn this month. When I'm trying to tell y'all that that reading was an hour and 15 minutes long, child, I said, no, man, we're not doing this. we just going to scrap it, and we're going to start with Aries. We're going to keep it short and brief. You know, we, we, we're not, we not going to be holding y'all up for no hour and a half and all that foolishness. All right? So let's see. What we got. Let's clarify this situation because this is definitely, this could, this could be like a business transaction as well. It's like, I don't want to work this type of job anymore. What is this? The seven of swords. Yes. Look, you see how this motherfucker's like, shh, be quiet. Shh, be quiet. Tonight is the night that we ride. <laughs> Come on, juvenile. <laughs> Y'all remember that as well? Shh, 
shh, be quiet. So now that somebody we rock. What was that song? It said something. He said, um, ooh, what did he keep saying in that song? Oh, you understand? He said, I've been doing it like McGilla Gorilla. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> Whoever this is, listen, do you understand? I'm so sorry. The seven of swords in the reverse is someone that is agreeing to disagree. You're not going to win in this case. There's no point of arguing. You're not about to outsmart me. You're not getting away with shit. This shit ain't going no more. So at the end of the day, let's just come to a compromise. And we, you know, at this point, we can maybe not even stand each other. I'm good with that. But as long as we walk away with respect, okay? And you're going to let me go. Like, you're not going to keep me held captive here. You know what I'm saying? And because and, and, I'm getting something about this clinginess here. It's something about that. And it's like, listen, I'm not going to try to sneak away from you. I'm going to walk away in front of your face. Do you understand? I'm not about to have all this drama and this chaos and this confusion going on. You know, it's no point. It's not going to benefit nobody in us being nasty and us being vindictive against each other. So I'm walking away, but I'm going to tell you to your face. I'm not going to do anything behind your back. I'm not going to try to manipulate you. I'm not going to try to screw you over, you know, and you damn sure ain't going to try to screw me over because if you do, you already know what's going to be the consequences of that. So I'm being upfront and, and, and personal with you. Okay. Okay. I'm the fuck reloaded. You're not clinging to me. You're not going with me. I don't want to do this no more. I know this comes as some type of sudden surprise and stuff. But what's the point? Would you rather me sneak around in your face and lie and be manipulative? And, you know, that's what you want me to do? Or you want me or you want me to be blunt and cold with you? I'm, I mean, listen. I know what hurts you. It hurts me, too. But it's going to hurt you worse if I'm sitting up here lying and trying to sneak in and sneak out and keep doing no i'm not no fuck no you better not about to fuck up my vibration because you don't want to let me go look you better go on somewhere mm -hmm. and then you got the ace of wands baby new beginnings new life new standards hello new standards it's like you see the fireworks in your eyes when you look at this person it's just this animal attractiveness, this connectiveness, you see your life going in a whole totally new direction. You're happy for it. You were so patient about this. And I want to say that you've been praying about this in a long time. You just didn't know how to do it. You didn't know how to bring it into your life. But, you know, sometimes it's just being faithful to your prayers. You know, be willing to sacrifice and let shit go and just let God do the work, baby. You got a brand new life. Ahead of you in 2021. Whatever you let go back in December at Christmas time. Listen. Tell the motherfuckers shh, be quiet. Don't be causing no drama in my life. I'm happy. I'm committed. And I'm staying faithful to the way my life is going right now. I don't want no more of that old drama. I don't want no more of that old past. Do you understand? I'm so happy right now. I'm so happy. And I want you to be happy for me. I would be happy for you if you finally found something that made your life worth living. You know, you no longer sneaking around doing low vibrational dumb shit that's just getting you in trouble. I'm happy now. I have a whole totally different standard of life. And I pray and I wish blessings upon you and I pray that you wish blessings upon me. You know? You could be happy for me. You can maybe not. To each his own. I, I have no. I, I, I cannot tell you how to feel. Only thing I can do is try to part with you. With respect. Because at the end of the day. It's something about. Walking away. From this old existence. Balanced. We can still be friends. You can still be in my life. But you have to respect my new life now. You know. And if you can't, and if you don't, and if you won't, then cool. I respect that too. You know? But at the end of the day, like, I know this may come as a shock, but I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm just trying to love myself. You feel me? So, let me pull out the runes. 
Let me get a quick little message from my runes. And then we good to go. I just, I honestly, I just want to. Oh. Can you give me two messages for Aries to close out this reading, please? Thank you. Okay. You ain't say nothing. I do see this right here. I do see this right here. This is Jira. So, with it not showing itself in the upright and it's kind of facing you but hasn't completely faced you right now, I feel like what God is trying to tell you that um, with Jira, this means maturity, rewards, and results of earlier efforts. You know, it means developments in life, like promises of success. That's earned material game, harvest, wisdom, reaping long term benefits, a positive outcome. So what this is basically telling me, you can't see this right now because it's not meant to be seen. Because like I told you, if it was meant to be seen, you see how all of these are blank faced up. I hope y'all can see it. I can see this. You can't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so. What God is basically telling me, it's like, the things that he is doing right now, I feel like he wants it to meet you as a surprise. He can't tell you every single thing that he's doing and every single thing that he's bringing into your life because he wants to give you free will to make your own, your own choices. I don't think that you can see the maturity and the way that you have grown and the things that you have been doing and the things that you've been saying to yourself in the past and how it is making that path and that platform for you in the future so you guys are growing up in a spiritual sense it's like a spiritual responsibility and you can't see it you can't see your, uh, your growth but other people can't see it not only can they see it but they're going to feel it they're going to feel it it's going to come as a shock but they're going but you're growing up you're growing up, Aries. You're growing up. And I fucking love it. And sometimes God don't want us to see everything. He's not going to tell you all the answers. He's not going to tell you all the correct steps. He's not. Because it's a test. But this right here. And this is a major arcana. Now I know in, uh, you know, runes, I don't think that, they, I don't think it's as... The same as tarot, like they're major arcanas, but to me, like this is considered like a major arcana. Again, reward and results of earlier efforts. Okay? So whatever changes you were making to try to implement betterment in your life, try to adjust and tweak those karma patterns because you know whatever you was doing back in the past was kicking your ass here recently. And you're tired of that. You're tired of it. So shout out to you, Aries. Keep it there, please. This has been your reading. Y'all make sure that y'all click that like button. Like, share, and subscribe. If you guys would like an additional reading, um, additional meaning personal reading, or if this video just gave you what you need and you want to send some support and love to this page, y'all go ahead and check out the description. Check out the bio and make sure to put a comment down there um, in the comment section. If this was about you, y'all put, I claim it, I confirm it because, honey, new love and new life, okay? That sounds very nice. Very nice. So, Aries, I love you. Continue to love yourself. Stay in peace. I will see you in February. Peace.